I'm glad to be able to wake up early every morning and I appreciate the time that I have to spend on myself and to you know just maintain my well-being by meditation every morning doing meditation every morning eating some good breakfast packing lunch for myself and sometimes I do exercising in the morning like just a little push up or crunch <laughs> It's the wrong thing. This is the correct one. Okay, I'm at Toyo University Haksan campus now. The campus I'm currently studying at is Akabanedai, which is farther away from this. This one is the main campus, which has like 20,000, 30,000 students here. So <laughs> let's take a look around. We're getting lost again. Yeah, we're getting lost again. In, in another campus of our school. Like. This is not my school. Yeah, this is not my school. Not I my don't school. like it. You have to take elevator to the cafeteria. I'm so hungry. <laughs> and I will get lost. So, in the end, I got like 1,200. Like four batches. This is our famous canteen. And Students from many other schools came here for the food too. So many people here. So today, uh, when I went to school, it was raining really hard and I totally believe that my bag is waterproof but it turned out, it wasn't so much and so I, all my money and paper got got including the laptop cover and now drying it like this rich life <laughs> Just my bowl breakfast. You know, there's been this question I've been posing to myself recently, and I think a lot of international students in my school has been asking the same question as well. Is that when will we start feeling like Japan is not beautiful anymore, and when will you get sick of it? They say that there's such thing called the honeymoon phrase when you first move to another country. It's just a phase where you feel like everything is beautiful and you love everything and you're so positive about living there. But you know, as with any marriage, after my honeymoon came the confusion, the fight, the you know, a little bit of hate. I get it, I get it, because I moved to Singapore once before and I 
think the same thing did happen to me when I first moved to Singapore for the first few months. I think two or three, I was totally ecstatic. Like I was so happy to be there, and I was really glad. You know, I I didn't feel like missing my family at all. But to be honest, after that, a lot of hard things, a lot of difficult things has happened, and some things. Sometimes things are more than what I can handle, so I guess I'm posing this question to myself again, and as well as yeah, other students studying overseas. When will the honeymoon end? I'm not entirely sure when will this end, but at least I'm enjoying every bit and pieces of this, because to me, I don't know, Japan is. Still beautiful. Up to twenty days. No, not twenty days. I think it's one month. One full month of looking out my window and seeing the same scenery over and over again. It doesn't feel like it's become less beautiful or anything. It still surprises me. It still makes me feel happy every time I see it. Every time there's really strong sunlight falling down and kisses all the trees below. Still feel wonderful. Love it. too big <laughs> and <laughs> I try so hard to finish it so it's a lot <laughs> <laughs> 